Hello you lot and welcome to another Ramblings of the South Stand Connor video here and I wanted to do this for a little while now it's something that I've wanted to talk about and I feel that as Leeds fans it's the topic of debate at the minute on Twitter and social media and I kind of wanted to get into it and talk to you guys a little bit about it because we're a fan channel I've been DM'd I've been asked to talk about it so I'm going to talk about Alioski, Alioski, whatever you want to call him I've been pulled up on how I say his name a couple of times but yeah, I just wanted to get into it a little bit. Kind of like the general feel, um, how, how Leeds fans are thinking about him at the minute. And I kind of want to try, do my best to give a balanced and a, sort of a, a decent review of what's going on with, with, uh, with Alioski. Um, so yeah, what I want to get into straight away is last night's victory. A brilliant 1-0 victory down at Hull. A game that we wouldn't have won last season. Um, so you've got a fair few points there. You've got Millwall, you've got Swansea and you've got Sheffield Wednesday. Games that we didn't get points at last season and games that we wouldn't have got points at last season um, if they were in our division, aka Swansea. Um, so we've got to see this as a positive leads on the up at the minute. And I wanted to make this particular video because it's been requested by a few people and it's all over social media and everyone seems to be talking about it at the minute. It's just the controversial topic of just having Alioski in the squad. So I've made a few notes and what I do like about Alioski to start off with is he tracks back. He's a workhorse and that's what every team needs. Every team needs that and especially in a Bielsa system, the 3-3-1-3. The 4 one, four, one needs workhorses. And we've got luxury players like Pablo Hernandez. We've got luxury players like Harrison to an extent and Saiz who don't necessarily do the tracking back that Alioski does. And if Alioski wasn't there, would we suffer for that? Quite possibly. That is definitely a point of contention. Leeds may suffer for not having Alioski in that position on a defensive, defensive standpoint. Bielsa evidently likes him because we know with the likes of Calvin Phillips substitutions, with the likes of when he's brought Shackleton on in key situations, that if Bielsa wants to make a change, he will make that change. He hasn't made that change with Alioski. Is that because he doesn't have any other option? Possibly. Is it because he likes him and he fits in with Bielsa's system? Possibly. So we've got to bear that in mind when we're talking about him. Both formations we play, he kind of fits in really well. Um, the graph that he puts in, and the chances he gets himself involved in, um, he's always sort of in the thick of it. He never, there's never a massively positive outcome, but he is always in the thick of it. Whether or not he's offside, whether or not he gets in key positions, whether or not he has shots off target, he is in the thick of it all the time. So we've got to bear that in mind as well. Alioski is sort of in the thick of it, and if you look at his stats, he's not that far off Samu Saiz regarding his sort of like chance creations, um, and he, he is, he seems to be an important cog for us at the minute. And also, you get, he's got an assist in him. I think he's got three this season. I mean, we see him on corners and set pieces, which I'm going to move on to in a little bit. Um, and he seems to be sort of an, an integral part of this system at the minute. And it, you've got to bear in mind, I mean, he's not really been brought out of the system at all. Um, I mean, he gets substituted, but it's not exactly early on. There's evidently a lot of people who don't think he makes mistakes, including Bielsa, so we can't really criticise that. So... You know, the guy's doing okay at the minute in some people's opinions. But for me, he's not doing okay. And I've got a few reasons why. I don't think we've seen the best of Barry Douglas. And I do not put that down to a Barry Douglas faltering. I think Barry Douglas is a Premier League left back and he is the best left back we've had in my lifetime. I'll put him over Charlie Taylor. Um, I think he is superb. I think he's a cracking player. Um, my big issue with. Douglas at the minute is that he's not been able to hit the heights that he hit at Wolves obviously he's got better personnel around him the likes of, the likes of Jota, the likes of Bonatini, the likes of Ruben Neves, just to name a few but Douglas is getting himself into these situations where he could be critical to the opposition, he's getting himself on overlapping runs, he's getting himself, Leeds are getting free kicks and set piece in dangerous areas and there seems to be this weird rotation with Alioski and Douglas where I'm sure we're all screaming at the screen that we want Douglas to take it. But for some bizarre reason, Alioski seems to be actually taking around 60-65% to of set pieces. I saw, a, I saw a stat last night, which is bizarre. Um, I don't know if that's been brought up in training because every ball he seems to put in goes too deep, too short, the first man. Um, it's just not good enough. Um, and... 
we're not seeing the consistency that Baz put in at Wolves last season. He's done incredible for us. I've, I've said on previous videos, I think he's done the sort of top three, top four. But is he really hitting those dizzy heights that he hit last season? I'm not 100% sure. And there is reasons behind that. It's possibly a lack of personnel. And I think that's what it is. There seems to be a serious degree of overlapping from Douglas, which I didn't pick on, pick up on um, earlier on in the season. But the three... 3-1-3 three, uh, three, three formation in particular seems to see a lot of overlapping from Douglas now when he's overlapping Alioski just doesn't see it um, there's no awareness there no spatial awareness no tactical awareness and you can see Douglas is getting visibly frustrated with it um, in particular one happened last night where uh, there was about a 16 move pass Douglas overlapped Alioski and he threw his hands in the air like that because Alioski just didn't see him and it's one of those where it's just like take your time, have a bit of composure, play the pass, and you'll see. You know, it's it's not difficult. You or I would be able to do it, but at the minute, a lot of his passes seems to be going wayward. They seem to be going out of play, and he, he really is a weak link for us at the minute. And I can really see it having an effect on Douglas, um, which which really bothers me because I really like Barry Douglas. I loved him last season. I thought he was him and Neves were the best players for Wolves last season, and I think we've seen a five out of ten so far in terms of his capabilities. He's, when he reaches that 10 out of 10, he's unplayable. Um, and as I touched on the corners and the set pieces, I don't really understand that. I mean, is that a Bielsa thing? If it is a Bielsa thing, in Bielsa we trust, and there's evidently a systematic or tactical analysis behind it. But I don't know if you guys are seeing the same thing as I'm seeing, but every corner ball goes too far or it gets cleared or it's scuffed or there's no whip on it. I, I, don't, I don't really get it. I mean... I don't want this to be a full bashing on Alioski, but I just kind of want to break down the things what I'm seeing during the games where maybe I think a Jack Clark should be in there. Um, someone who I've watched consistently for the 23s, um, who I rate very, very highly. And I think that's why I felt sort of like compelled to make the video, just because I see him as in such a higher stead. And, you know, maybe, obviously, like I've said, in Bielsa we trust, but does this guy deserve a chance? I mean, what more does he have to do? I mean, I mean, maybe his work rate isn't, but for the 23s, the guy just bombing up and down consistently. So I just don't think Alios is good enough. His ball retention in the final third, it seems to break down. And we talk consistently about chance, chances created for Leeds United, especially in these past four or five games. Well, I hate to say it, but a lot of the chances do come down to Alioski. It's either in the box or it's the, the build-up of play. Um, and like I said, that 16-move pass, which was superb by Leeds, was flunked out of play by Alioski with just a sloppy pass. And it's, it's, it's a reoccurring theme. And I don't want to dig the guy out because, you know, in the past, he's been, I think he's been superb in certain games. And I hopefully get, he has a fantastic game against Brentford. But I just do not think he is the quality of this squad, how good this squad is at the minute. I think there's a serious breakdown. And I think we're seeing that with the lack of crown, the, the lack of chances converted because I think there's a breakdown on the left-hand side and I don't think it's attributed to Douglas. Um, I think there's a breakdown in the final third and I think a lot of it can be put down to, to Alioski. Um, and just, just, it's great because he gives, his, he gives his all and we all know that he gives his all, uh, which is fantastic. And as Leeds fans, that's all we ever want. But you and I can give our all. We need to see some quality there and to be in the top two at the end of the season, I think that is a crucial position, um, and I think you saw that. You highlight that that was highlighted at the start of the season when Leeds went out to try and get Joseph Zoon, who would have played in that position. There, it did evidently worry Bielsa and Leeds, and that's why Leeds tried to rectify it, but they weren't able to do that and didn't see it fit going out and trying to do it again, or didn't think the personnel out there would fit the Leeds system like Joseph Zoon would have done. I think he'd have been a perfect fit, and I think it's evidently something Leeds need to act on in January. Um, but you know, in past in past season, we we saw it with with Harry Kuehl Scum Scum Harry. I can't say his name. Harry Scum Harry Kuehl oh, Harry Kuehl, um and Ian Hart. You know, Kuehl never trapped back, never trapped back, and it was and that you know Ian Hart got a lot of flack because his defensive side wasn't that great, and it wasn't. We all knew that he was fantastic with his set pieces, decent going forward, but he wasn't that good defensively. But Kuehl never helped him out. Um, but Alioski does that, you know, he helps Douglas out. And would Douglas suffer if Alioski was taken out of the squad? Well, Hotter never trapped back for Wolves and Douglas always did a superb job defensively. Um, so that's 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 my sort of argument to that. Um, it's just, it was it was his finishing, it's his finishing. You know, there was a, a couple of 
chances where he could have you know really got a decent connection on it in the Wednesday game and there was a lot of chances we could have had but a lot of the chances we did have were either blocked on the line hit the post Leeds were very very unlucky whereas the Alioski chances when the balls floated in you know and he just chested it down you've got to put that one away or the one where it was floated in and he's at the back post and he just needed to get a touch on it stay composed and he skids across the floor and misses it completely um, you know, I think you've just got to stay. The, the composure is the big thing. It's decision making, um, and obviously the, the the sort of offside after offside after offside. That is a massive breakdown in play, and Leeds sort of lose momentum. And you see that. You know, there's a big build up of play, and then maybe an Alioski's offside. And why that frustrates me, it frustrates Joe in particular. I know, and Oscar, is because it's simple. It's a simple facet of play which you can alleviate from your football sort of well I guess play because all you are doing is looking across the line and seeing that you are beyond a line and you are offside I know it's not as, as black and white at that but at that level you cannot be offside he's, he's been offside more than any other player in the championship and I think it's by a half decent margin as well so I think that's you know it's when Leeds players are saying Leeds fans are saying stuff like well we can't believe he's not been offside this game you know, stuff like that I mean that needs to be fixed and that's a simple thing you can fix but he's also given away more fouls than any other player in the Leeds squad in the opposition third and that's another telling factor when you see Leeds hounding down the players and we hound down in packs and we've seen that with Click, we've seen that with Phillips, well, not, not so much Phillips, we've seen that with Click, Saez and uh, it's Roberts, we saw not as much last night but the Wednesday game um, and the Birmingham game he just gives away foul after foul and it's just the, the sort of why they're in trouble they're in trouble we're hounding them down and it's once again breaking the momentum and breaking the fact that the style of play that Bielsa is trying to implement so it's an interesting one tell me what you guys think it's quite a controversial one this one because I don't want to single Alioski out I really do not because we're, we're top of the league why would you single a player out it's not that this is a fan channel it's one of those where you can have whatever opinion you want on a certain individual and I think it's been around social media. It's quite a big topic with Leeds fans at the minute. Alioski, Alioski, Alioski. And I just wanted to make this because I've been DM'd it and I, th I feel like a lot of people are talking about it and him being poor in certain games. So I think that it's definitely something which deserves um, sort of a conversation. Um, please let me know what you think in the comments below. I think I'm going to get a fair few comments for this one. Um, tell me what you think. Are you happy with Alioski in that position? Would you implement Jack Clark there? Do you think that's something we have to target as a number one in January? Or are you happy with Alioski? Are you happy with the work rate he puts in? Are you happy with the balls in and the finishing and all this sort of stuff? Do you think that's Bielsa's football? So you will, you will, um, you're okay with that? Which you know, it's all good. Everyone's everyone's got their own opinion. But like I said, guys, cracking win last night. We're top of the league. Fantastic. I didn't want you to think that oh, this is just a, an attack on a player because it's not. It's just a topic of conversation. It's just a chat about Ali And um, What I think is positives and is negatives. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, like, comment and subscribe. Check out our other videos as well. I did one this morning where I looked horrendous. <laughs> it's been commented on by family members and everything. But it's my birthday today, so I'm going to let that one slide. All the best, guys. And I hope you're enjoying the amount of content you're getting at the minute. Peace.